Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com in the US. Today it's all tips about creating scenery with under the moon. Well, I switched the moon with maybe the sun and so on. Really what I'm gonna teach here is what object do you put first or second and such so let me share a little bit of this card that i got here and we're going to start with the more simple one okay so you see i get quite a bit i mix this set i mean this set can stand alone absolutely i did uh, some um, just little uh, four by four um, note cards i not even a card really it would be a postcard because it don't have nothing these here for uh, my to include in my paper share so um i like to put a little thank you if they want to use it on the card they can and such so this year it's using the in color and i'm not saying the new in color i'm saying the in color because this one is the boho blue so it's the one of last year this is uh, pie pumpkin and uh, not pumpkin pie peach pie uh the summer sun summer splash something something like that it is summer splash i think and i don't even know if i brought it with me and then this year it's the um, the one of the previous year last year pebble uh pad and this is the boho also so it's in the in colors but for this year and last year so see that was the only set well except session the greeting i still use good greeting i warned everybody that was a set they needed before it got retired right so uh, i'm gonna start with simple like i said so other said that i think it worked very lovely with this and um, it could be any uh, really outdoor uh, nature set like trees and such. So I get the loveliest tree. So if you get lovely as a tree too, this, if you ask me if it's about the same size than the old tree from uh, lovely as a tree, this is quite a bit bigger. Okay. Uh, grassy Grove I brought out and um, the in the grove so if you get a mountain i cannot remember the last mountain we had that it would be lovely i absolutely love uh, the mountain and the trees there with this so even that it's kind of a more of a beach see because you get the water and so on i'm going to share a different way and then you get the dolphin and the clouds so on okay so what i'm going to do it's really give you guys some pointers i got my glass mat i absolutely love my glass mat for this the reason it's because that it um i can really uh, do my blending good and okay so we're going to go simple i'm going to start with um i don't know here it is I'm going to start with if you want to do a sunset. Now, if you look at mine here, these two, I couldn't decide if I wanted, like all my thank you, I did the long part at the top. And then I was like, hmm, maybe it's a reason why they designed that. See the stamp set? You get that short. It's the same width than the sun or the moon so the choice is yours i personally i think i like more the long way but you can see side by side again those big greeting are from um go to greeting so now i'm going to share how i add different color i was in the mission to use just the in color you can use different one i use pretty and pink uh, if you ask me if pretty and pink, it's the same color than pretty and pink than the many uh, moons ago. Uh, it's very similar. Uh, I don't know if mine faded, okay? It's, well, it's not similar because look, 
this was the one that I had in the 12 by 12. So I don't know if it's faded or maybe that was another color too. Not sure. So uh, I don't keep much of anything retired. The only reason why I get the paper there, uh, the pink, it's because it's a 12 by 12. And I keep some to do like pattern when I do boxes. Okay, so you're going to, uh, for the sun set, I like to, or sunrise could be, I like to do in the lightest color, so that would be pretty and pink. And now I'm going to use the peach pie here. Look like I get scratched there, and I'm wondering, I don't have no cats. I don't know what I did. So I'm using um, the peach pie. I want that on my phone because it's a photopolymer. So I'm going to tap, 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 and tap. Not all of it, just bits of it. Now, up on it, because you know I was talking a bit too much, maybe. I'm going to put that about here. Et voila. So now you can see I get that pink with it. When you stamp it, it looks blotchy, but don't worry. As it dry, it really smooth out. Now, for the water, I use uh, that summer uh, splash or summer, I didn't bring it. Yeah, Summer Splash. This time, I'm going to use, I got boho here. So I'm going to do the long way. And I'm going to put that right under there. And voila. So now you see how simple it is. Now, with that being done, if it is a sunrise or sunset, really the sunset, you get that glare coming down. So I'm going to take my brush here and um, I'm going to tap it there first because, see, I don't want it to have too much color. So I'm just going to go down a bit. So just a reflection on the water. So that's how i done this. Okay? Very simple. And then the rest for the color... It's two things that you can do. You can uh, just, well, where did I put it? We can do another one if I don't have it. I know. Let me look quick here. I want to do a mask. Well, for the mask, if you use, I use the punch with a post-it note, and it's two and a quarter. It's almost perfect. See? Boom. So you're going to put it right there. Now, I would take my blue and go ahead and add it. See? I would stop a little bit above here, so give that a rise in there. Now, if it's the night, so for the night, see, even with this, I'm not for, oh, you don't see it. See, I get a little bit off there. I would just come back. And just add a little bit, even if it go on the top there. I must have moved the thing. Now, if it's for the night, then you're going to have darker colors. So, um, I got Night of Navy, Misty Moonlight. It's a very nice one. And I would go with a darker color. This one, I even get black, I think. So, again, type on, tap on it. And then go from the top and coming down well i need to cover this here like that so that's how i done for the sky and keep on adding so anytime you do blending sponging uh brayer you want to let it dry completely before you judge because a lot of time it looked like a mod podge meaning it's it's it, the ink is still wet, so it's very not uniform, but as it dry, it looks very lovely. So now you see the dark sky and the light coming through. Now, we're going to crank it up a notch. And let's say that you want the trees. So for the trees, you want to do all your scenery first. Now, the reason for that 
or the dolphin or the boat. I mean, the dolphin you would stamp after. Um, the dolphin, it's a little bit different because it's completely full. So, it, you know, you can stamp it after. Now, for the trees, the reason why you want to do this before, it's because it, you can see through the trees and you want to see that sunrise or the moon and such because you can see through the trees. So let's say that's not water because I'm going to use that to do quite a bit so then you can see. So for the trees, what I done, I use uh, old olive and then, did I put my marker away? Must have brought it here. I got quite a collection here of the stuff to play with. So bear with me. Okay, I'm going to grab another marker. That's it. Oh, I had put it away. I did. So I got early espresso. And so what we're going to do, again, you're going to stamp with the lightest color. So that's all olive. And I'm going to use my early espresso. And the bottom, I'm going to keep it green. And where I see like the branch or the trunk, I'm going to add this. Now, when you're done with the marker, it's very important important that you're going to wipe the marker. What do I mean by wipe the marker? Uh, where's my scrappy paper? You're going to take your scrappy paper here and just wipe it. See at the beginning it's a lot more green than brown because really you put it on top of the uh, the green there. Now I'm going to huff on this. Never mind the water. Let's say I sponge that in the green. <sighs> the reason why I huff on it it's because that, um, you know, I weighed it and then the ink dry on it. So then press on it and voila. So now I got the horizon. It's right there. That would be the green. You can use that in the green and you still see through the, the mountains. Now, here is the two here. And see some of the clouds I stamp with pool party upside down so that way it's not all the clouds in the line there now this trees here that's from the grassy growth so that is the same thing i could have used the trees in this one also but i wanted a little bit more open so we can see through so i went with uh, the trees in grassy growth over here just show you some option Okay, so now you understand why I wanted to stamp the, um, the scenery, the bag, the sky, and the ground before I stamp my um, trees. I didn't want to stamp on top of it because if I would stamp on top of it, I would have the orange or the yellow or whatever on top of the tree. It wouldn't be great, right? And you can see all the branch here where I had it, the brown. Okay, same over here, the one we just did quickly here. And this one, I put it higher, but it doesn't matter because you see, that's where the ground, the horizon is at your line. Okay, next one. Now, the, and then if I would want the, like the sailboat or the dolphin, I stamp it right after I do my scenery. The reason why that don't matter, it's because it's full. It's like a silhouette. So that one don't matter. When it's not a silhouette like the trees, that really matter when you're going to stamp the tree, before or after. Now, going back with that, meaning with the mountains. So the mountains, you don't see through the mountains, right? So that with the mountains you're going to have to put it below or on top of it so let me share with you how i would do that so this one i still i'm going to stamp another one and this one we're going to do the mountains in um not the mountains i'm going to do uh, my moon with uh let me think of a good color here I will do, what did I do here? Uh, I'm going to do um, basic, uh, not basic, but a smoky slate. 
and I'm going to stamp off first. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this with Smoky Slate stamp off. I need my foam though. And I'm going to put that right here. Voila. This is a bit too light. Let me take a little bit of color off here. Maybe. Okay. I think that's going to be better there. Okay. So now I got that stamp. Now to do my mountains. So the mountains, I don't need the foam because it's rubber. I'm going to stamp my mountains with, I love Pebble Pat. It's like the snowy here. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, maybe you want to do the mountain first because um, you don't see where you stamp the mountain while the other one, it's a photopolymer. I did quite a few. I'm using the bottom here. That's the shortest one. And I can go right on top. It doesn't matter. Right here. So the mount, the moon is coming over the mountain. Et voila. So now this one you want to stamp on top. You have to not too much at the top because then you get those opening there. You have to be careful to that. That is it. So now I can stamp the trees too. Let's see that the bottom it would be in the green and again i did the mountains and i and cut the mountains for a mass so you see here i did my mountain for a mass and i'm going to go to about where i want the horizon so about here and this if it would be uh, the moon what i would do it's <clears throat> because a full moon like that's going to bring light at night so I would go put my color there. Where's my green? And keep the center right here where the moon is a lot lighter. So now I would bring more green. Just go on the side a bit. See, I just push a bit. Then I'm going to go a little bit at the bottom. Now on this side. And then I'm going to keep this, my two fingers there. So that's, tell me, stop about in between that, okay? Now we're going to just push that in a bit. Now I get a line there. Let me remove that. Et voila. So now you see how dark that I got each end, but here it's lighter. I would go ahead and put the dark a little bit more here. So I always start on my um, glass mat and then I can push it. That makes such a big difference. Or you can use, if you don't have the glass mat, you can use maybe just like a photo frame, save that window in it. I didn't try that, but I would think it would work. Et voila. So here I get, I want it to blend smooth, okay? So I just gonna, that is it. So you see how that it's approach. Now for the top, now if it's a night sky, then let me wipe this here first. Then I would go with a dark color, like maybe Night of Navy, even black, whatever the color that makes you uh, like night. So I would cover my mountain. And also I would cover uh, the moon. You can do the moon. You can... Um, move that add maybe a little bit of yellow like i did on one but i think just the white moon look good i won't do the whole thing i'm going to show you just how i process that so then you're going to see and then see how i add my um trees and such here so i keep that here now again you start from the side tap it 
and I just see go on the side and it's darker there oops I, maybe I want to turn it this way just because the way that I'm here we go and around it I'm gonna keep it lighter because you know the moon gonna give uh, some light around the, that right and then as I'm pushing away from the moon then I'm gonna go darker that the way that I did that see I'm gonna go a bit on top but I would keep on adding oops I don't like to start on my paper I have to remember that like to start on my um glass mat and keep on adding and remember as it's dry it's going to change the look if voila see you get your moon there you can add a little bit inside of your moon if you don't want it so um white but just very gentle now if your mountain i'm thinking it's snow cap but if your mountain you want not so bright because it's the night then i use um i use pebble pad or smoky slate we stamp that with pebble pad but you want a lighter color depends how hard you're going to press so let me bring i get my smoky slate here and that i won't worry about anything meaning i'm not covering anything so tap it here and just go very softly just to bring the light down here i'm going to keep it lighter just because you know we get the moon there if voila see how it's just changed the color now if you want to add some trees and i don't think an oak tree belong there right i'm gonna add the trees in in the grove and that i'm gonna use uh, not all olive i'm gonna use mossy meadow and the reason why you want mossy meadow you want something darker and looking at it from the camera here see here i get like a line and i don't like that meaning that really this should be blend a little bit more so i'm just gonna much better it was just a line it was bugging me okay the trees are together so i'm gonna go ahead and what you want closer so what would be closer to you it's darker what's in further out it's lighter so with that being said i'm gonna stamp my first one lift it up and then you can go back see so now you got the front and then the trees in the back and then i can go over here and then i'm gonna come over here but then i'm gonna oh not ink again and go back here if voila and i can even have a little one there see how simple it really looked like the night sky now we're going to crank it up a notch and we're going to put some star i mean if we get a full moon i bet we get stars right so to add the star i use um acrylic paint i think i get a jar right here of my here this is this is what i use you get that at pretty much any place Wally World, I think someplace even in the pharmacy you get some of that. Now I use a tiny little bottle with a very pointy needle. This, if you get that, you want to make sure this is real metal, like um, stainless steel or so it don't rust. Now what I'm gonna do, it's just barely touch this. I mean, I could use a stamp, and but I like to use this little doodad here. It make it quick, and also it's just a little sparkle. In uh, then you want to tap it. If voila, 
just a little bit in your thing. So now it's ready to uh, do. And now I bet with the, the way that the moon is and such, I bet you can see the light coming down here, right? From the full moon. Okay, so I'm going to share with you these night sky one here. So this one, I did the same thing, but I, I didn't add no green. So it's more like a winter. I don't want to put nothing on that because the paint, it's not dry, right? So this one here, I just put my mountain, put the happy birthday, my trees at the bottom and call it good. This one, it's almost like you're flying and you're above the, the mountains there. See, it's all blue, but again, I got that lighter spot over here. And I this one, it's emboss, eat emboss. So I'm going to share a trick with the eat emboss. This one here, I added some yellow, like the harvest moon, or it would be more orange though. But um, again, it gives you a different look. See, it's the same mountain, but really don't look the same, right? Okay, so this one here, it's embossed, clear embossed. And um, this one also, it's embossed, and that's it's all done in the blue. The bottom for the water, I use um, Night of Navy, and this was um, Misty Moonlight and very gentle. And again, I kept that more white there. And this is stamp and emboss with clear. So let me show you something that I did that I'm going to tell you not to do. So when this one here, I couldn't decide which color I wanted for the background. I was trying blue. I didn't like it. I was trying black. I didn't like it. And so on and so on and so on. Well, here, this is what I done. I sponge around in the blue and in the green. So now I'm going to mount that together. This one, I almost said, toss it in the trash. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do what I teach you all to do. It's finish your card before you decide where it goes. So I'm going to mount that at the top. Whoops. Maybe you want to go a little bit straighter than I did. Optional, right? Here, I'm too much. In. Oh, okay. We're going to leave it that way because I went. Okay, it's very. Okay, so this one here, I emboss this. Well, after you emboss, if you stamp, the ink won't absorb on the embossing. So. You have to be very careful where you're going to put that. Now, I got my thinking of you to cover some of it. Et voila. So you, I could always save it. I'm like, you know what? It's still full of love, so I still can use it. Oh, I need to put some. That's where it's what You know what? This will go in the, the you know what, the trash, I think, now, because I... But you get a feeling how it goes, okay? Maybe I could have... No, it's going to go away. But you get an idea how it goes. So if you emboss it, you cannot stamp on, on top of it, except if you use... Um, stays on. Okay. Now I'm going to move that. And I'm going to share another one that it's embossed. So can you see the difference between those two embossed? This one, it's embossed, this one. So this one went in the trash, my embossing powder. I had all in my clear, I had all those little black uh, thing. I tossed it in the trash and this is completely clean. Okay, now I got my moon there. Um, let's say that I want the mountains. I cannot go on top of it because if I go on top of it, it will not absorb. So what I'm going to do, it's in my mountain, and then I'm going to go below it. Make sure it don't touch. Et voila. Now, I can, I don't really have to mask that one. I could, though. But here, how I'm going to 
you know what that's okay because i want dark so what i'm going to do is go from the side and start going and i emboss it so it's going to stay uh, white where i get uh, the emboss now i want darker on the edge I went a little bit too close. That's okay, though. So now you're going to say, uh, I don't see where the moon is pretty much, right? Okay. Now what you're going to do is take your inky rag and you're going to wipe this. So you see where the ink was, it didn't absorb. Where the embossing was, it didn't absorb. But then you wanted that whatever that design still in the colors now the bottom i'm going to add and that one i'm going to put blue too i just going to keep it in the blue like i did with the other one but again i would go you see i put my finger about where i want to keep it lighter i could just going to go a little bit on top and then i can add darker so that is it how i done that so what you're going to put in darker up front so the moon you know it don't go through the mountains so you would have to stamp the mountain on top of it the trees you can stamp on top because it's see-through you can see through the trees now the lighter the color you're going to put it more in the back the darker the color more in the front so i hope this help you see like this it really looked like night sky right and then the one we just did if and then i this one i turn it to be a sun so it's no right and wrong the more that you're going to play with it the easier it's going to get. And again, you don't want to judge your card till you're done. Because a lot of time it looks like Mod Podge. And by the time it dry, it's lovely. I hope this inspired you to do some scenery. And again, this stamp set, it's called, uh, whoops, I don't even have it. It's the moon. I don't know where I put it now. That's silly me. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's under the moon. And I uh, put it with in the grove, grassy grove, and then loveliest as a tree. So pretty much anything like outdoorsy, meaning like nature, like mountains, trees, flowers. I mean, the flowers would be kind of tricky because flowers are way smaller than the moon. It's just these are very a good combination with this. I will have many samples on my blog. Right below you get the direct link and also the direct link to uh, order your product. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, happy stamping.